Hello and welcome. My name is Squelumi and I'm at King's Court, Victoria Island, Lagos for the Keystone Bank Masterclass titled Spark Up Your Brand, which is aimed at supporting startups on how to enrich their brands towards driving sales. Now this event will not only see over 400 participants learn on how to identify and develop a brand for their businesses from facilitators like Funke Akindele Belo and of course Joshua Akibanjo, but they would also get free websites designed courtesy Google and IG Hub. Now if you're an entrepreneur or you're looking to be one, then you need to sit back, relax and enjoy today's show because it's going to be absolutely informative on VVIP events. First of all, why did Keystone Bank decide to invest in small market enterprises? Um, you know, the preamble we had before this conversion started, you actually mentioned the fact that some economies like uh, that of China and whatever, they, those economies, they boomed because of the impact of small and medium enterprises. So that now underscores the reason why Keystone Bank decided to be inter to get interested in the growth of the small and medium enterprises because in any economy I mean the engine of growth really is the SMEs. This is the maiden edition of a Keystone Bank Masterclass which would serve as the power tool for energizing MSMEs in Nigeria. In line with our strong passion Keystone Bank for driving business growth and our overall business objective of empowering businesses we decided to birth and institute the Keystone Bank Masterclass, which will provide access to resources, experts advisory, access to market, amongst others, for you. Having recognized that, to see that um, the way the economy is, we need to um, encourage all of these um, students and youths who are branching out on their own, who have taken the initiative to develop themselves, not to look for white collar jobs, but to start out their businesses. So we said, okay, how do we help them? This is one of the ways that we can um, help them. So we, we got these um, coaches, business coaches and facilitators together. And um, over 700 people registered for this event. Muyi will be facilitating on identity, tone, and experience. We're going to go through a very short journey so that when you go back home, that 10,000 naira logo that you made, you either go and trash it or you keep it and build equity into it. Why is your logo important? Number one, the primary role of your logo is to identify you so that when you are placed in the mix of other identities, other brands, you stand out. Go back home. If you are a caterer or a chef, go and put your logo beside some of the strongest chef logos in the world. If it doesn't stand out, call your logo designer again. If you're a fashion designer, go and put your logo side by side with Gucci. Your last ago, because you must aspire to be like them. I'm going to take something from a Jennifer brand. The Jennifer brand was what? Number one, mass market. Number two, real Nigeria hardcore story. And I think that's what has made her who she has become today. Because they, when she was scripting, or when they were creating the Jennifer brand, they understood clearly the tone. If they had put Jennifer on Netflix as it came out, they would have failed. It's not a niche production, it's a mass market production. So it needs to be on African Magic, it needs to be on LTA, LTV, everything. So they understood the tone from the onset. First of all, you were talking about logo, you were talking about branding. I want to ask, is it possible for someone's brand to change? I mean, starting from the inception, when you're planning your business and then you have a target market, but over time you see that a lot of other people begin to respond to you instead. So at that point, is it possible for your brand to change? Oh yes, yes, most definitely. Um, brands grow, brands scale up. And when you begin to attract um, consumers from other segments other other like a secondary market away from your primary market it's 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 now going to be a case of how you are able to align um, the new opportunities with your primary mandate your primary mandate is I'm delivering excellence your primary mandate is I'm helping you live better your primary mandate is I'm affordable your primary mandate is I'm luxury you just tie in the new opportunities the new possibilities to the original story without changing who you are anytime I have the opportunity to share my story 
to encourage people, to educate them my little way, you know, on how to grow their businesses. I'm always excited. So I'm happy to be here. Nice to meet you all. Let me quickly liken that to what you're doing now. Your business, you started your business, right? You feel everything is going to be rosy all through. You're going to have down times. A lot. Okay, at the point you feel, oh, I made this, this, that. I've studied all the grammar. I've Googled everything. All the do's and don'ts. I want to go emotional now, guys. You know, spiritual a little bit. There'll be times your business will go down. There'll be times you feel like, I want to pack up. But if you've got passion for what you're doing, you won't pack up. So note, if you feel you're not making it anymore, things are going down, do not give up. You have to brace up. Okay? Acquire more knowledge. Think of how you can expand. Things can work right with your business. You're one of the forces to be reckoned with in the industry, especially when we look at people who have transformed from personal brands now into owning companies that are producing. I mean, when people see you now, they don't only see Jennifer. I mean, they see Sin One Productions that has produced My Siblings and I, which I absolutely love. Ayatora Town, which is currently trending on YouTube. So I want to ask, how were you able to transition and transform from Jennifer to a popular producer and the owner of Sin One Productions? Okay, um, firstly, my passion is acting. Um, along the line, I... I, I, yes, I do produce, I write scripts, I, I have that talent too. And I thought of it, take one at a time, yeah. acting first, then script writing, producing, and now a big brand. It's just taking a day at a time, staying focused, knowing what you want for yourself, let your passion drive you, you understand? And, and don't forget where you're coming from, it's very important. Don't get carried away. And when you're, when you're looking at your competitors, don't look at them to, to distract yourself. Mm. You, you, you watch them, you take note of what they're doing so you can get higher than them. And that's what I'm trying to do. I'd like to ask uh, one or two people what they do, their business, their hustle. My name is Zain Shitu. What I do is um, basically I teach, I teach sex education. And before now, I used to teach in the classroom. So when I realized that it's something I can actually, because I had a friend who was actually abused for like five years. In fact, the abuser even aborted. That was when she was very young. You know, her parents were not really there for her. And even up till now, the parents do not know. So that was, that was when I realized that you know, there's something I feel like I want to give out. So I decided to create a niche around that. So basically I go to schools to teach sex education. I train mothers because some mothers still now, they can not even afford to talk to their children about sex. And you know, they feel very shy and all of that. So I create opportunities. I train mothers on how best they can talk to their children and all of that. Okay, thank you very much. I, I don't, this is, what you're doing is very beautiful. Please, a round of applause for Thank you. It's selfless. I must say, and I'd like to associate with you. Thank you, Ma. We have to position you properly. Thank you very much. Let everybody you. know what's your business. What's your, 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 what's your business name? Helping Mind Consult. Helping Mind Consult. Let people know about Helping Mind Consult. You were called today by Funke Akidele Jennifer, and we all call her Jennifer. And then um, your business, which is about sex education, really touched her in such a way that she was even moved to actually want to work and partner with you. So at that moment, what, as in, what was going through your mind? How did you feel at that moment? Like, this is what I have been waiting for and I finally got it. Seriously, like I needed somebody to push me. I, need, I needed somebody to tell me that Zainab, this, um, what you're actually doing, I really like it and I believe in you. I believe that you go global. So I was really, really happy when she told me that she was really, really interested in it. I was very happy. I'm talking about brand positioning. Please take note of these three things that you should aim at. You have a product that you want to turn into a brand. Is it relevant to the consumers or the target markets or the target audience that you want to connect with? Relevance. Number one thing I said, relevance. Number two, that is if you really want to position your brand. Number two, how unique is it versus competition? Number three, accessibility. How accessible is the market to you? In other words, what is a consumer connection point between you and the end user or the potential sellers? Every brand 
has a responsibility to meet the consumer's needs and ensure their satisfaction. And one way to do that is always to say, look, what are the passion points of these consumers? And once you know the passion points of the consumers, are you able to provide those necessary tools or platforms to engage them, just like what is happening here. Mm -hmm. You have a lot of customers who are SME owners, and then you are providing a platform for them to learn strategies, uh, business you know, schemes, on how to grow their business. That is actually connecting with the consumer's point. I'm going to talk to you about Google My Business. It positions you to be visible on search and on map. Now, the beautiful thing about Google My Business is that it gives you insight of the number of people that called you. Immediately, someone clicks on that call and the call goes through. It records. The number of people that use the map to visit you, the number of people that searched, went from that place and get, got to a search and did business. And then Google, you know Google is Google, right? Yes. They're also able to show you the number of people that walked into your shop. What every business wants is the fact that you can reach more people. So how would you explain or how would you advise that we go about increasing our visibility on Google search? So basically, um, there's a tool that is free for small businesses to um, increase their visibility. That's uh, Google My Business. So when a small business wants to get his, businesses, his business or his businesses um, to be visible on map and on search, you go to Google My Business, that's business.google.com and then register your business there and put out the information on your business, get verified and up you go. What is it like being in an atmosphere full of business owners and facilitators who have been impacting like knowledge on branding so far? Yeah, um, it, it feels so great, um, first of all, I mean to meet with like-minded people uh, and it's something that as an entrepreneur, as a business person, as an executive, wherever you are, you have to continuously do. You understand, you have to get out and meet people and just get to learn more. Spark up your brand, the Made in Edition was indeed absolutely enlightening. I mean, every single participant here and I have gained so much from the facilitators who are so passionate about sharing the knowledge and experiences they've gained over time through their businesses. I have to say, to Keystone Bank, who indeed came up with this initiative, a huge congratulations on the success of the Made in Edition. I mean, I can't wait to see it transform SMEs and MSMEs in Nigeria and transform, of course, the economy at large. To you at home, I hope you're able to gain a thing or two on how to spark up your businesses through branding. You know, the show on the phone, of course, still continues on VVIP events, so do not go anywhere.